We try to be tidy, but over time it seems that our Final Cut Pro 10 libraries get spread around drives and folders and we end up losing them and we have to spend a bit of time trying to find them. As you can see here on the Thunderbolt attached drive, we've got libraries at the uh, root level and we've also got some that are hidden in folders as you can see here. Not to mention we've also got some local ones on the system drive, um, a couple there. Now we thought there must be a better way to find all the libraries in one go. And we can do that by using smart folders, but first of all let's just have a look at a library. And as you can see, the extensions .fcp bundle. So let's just copy that and you'll find out why we need that just in a second. Right, now let's go and make a smart folder. We get a new finder window and the key to everything is these buttons up here. So if I hit the plus and toggle down here, well, kind, last open, last modified, well, none of those are really any good. So we need to go into other, which brings up this long list. Scroll down. File extension, that's what we need. Now we've been playing around with this for a day or so, so some of these might be highlighted and some, some of them are not. So if you can't see it in the drop down, just go into the list. File extension is, hit paste, and as you can see, we've got all our libraries. The problem is, we've also got these backups here that have been stored. Now this GMT is Greenwich Mean Time um, because the Mac is actually set to the time zone, so it's a London time zone. If you're in America, it might be something else like Pacific, you know, PCT. So whichever time zone you're in, you might get a different three letters at the end of these files. Um, it's all right, but we actually don't want to see those, so there must be a way of hiding them, and there is. If we go over to this plus and hit Alt or Option, it changes from a plus to these three dots. So what we want to say is none of these and we need to go back into the long list of search attributes and find file name there we go click that matches yes you guessed it GMT and there you go we've got all our libraries stored there last thing to do is to hit save call it libraries and add to sidebar and there we go we've got one click access to the libraries just to prove it let's have a look down here you can see this is on the Thunderbolt raid and this one is on the local storage so there you go a one click way of finding all your libraries whether they be in folders or on the root of drives wherever they are on the system you can actually get a bit more complicated if you want. You can create some more searches. This one I've got here is the creation date. So I can actually put another argument in to say any of the files created within the last day, which we haven't done anything. If we say last week, we've got a couple. Last month, so let's save that. Save. We'll call that library last month. Add to sidebar. And there we've got the libraries and the library last month. So it's really up to you how deep you want to go into it. Um, just say show search criteria. You can actually build this up to be quite complicated. You could have searches for different clients. Do you know which libraries you modified today? Um, if I was to put that in, they'd all show up because I've modified all of them today. It is a really flexible way of finding your libraries quickly. And I'm sure there's a lot of uses out there that uh, I haven't even thought about. Because you can actually do some quite complex things. So there you go. Great tip. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.